The Triple M Grill Team. <laughs> Turn Gus, MG and Maddie on 6 till 9 weekdays. Team Deb, we were just listening to the news of that story about the journalist being beheaded. It's like, what, yeah. What's happened there? And Is that the real deal? Well, that's the process that's underway in the US right now. Authorities are trying to verify the authenticity of this video, which apparently depicts American journo James Foley being beheaded. Whoa. Now, Jeez. 10 years ago, I was working at Sky News and I saw some vision of somebody being executed in similar circumstances. And I tell you what, never again, you don't want to look at that type of video, but it is readily available on social media right now. Now, this apparent ex- Execution. It's in an open desert area. You can't tell if it's in Iraq or Syria. But what is apparent, there's a mass militant in black. He's speaking English with a British accent and he executes the reporter. Now, wow. this news is obviously so upsetting to James's family. They've oh. launched a campaign for the last two years to try to secure their release. And just in the last couple of minutes, they have released a statement saying, we know that many of you are looking for confirmation or anthers, they're saying, please be patient until we have more information and keep the follies in your thoughts and prayers. So Good very answer. stressful yeah. time for them. There was yeah. a journal Thank backing you, up your claims then. There's a journal on Twitter said that, look, don't search for the video, don't share it. Oh. He said, I've seen this as a, in, in my job and in my occupation and it's something that stays with me forever. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to speak to it. Oh. Thanks, Deb. Really appreciate Thanks, that. Thanks, we're going to speak to a man now who... Uh, I think this morning would be uh, counting his blessings wow. because uh, Michael Weir was not only uh, mate he, he not only knows everything about ISIS but because but he was held hostage by ISIS <laughs> and we've spoken to him once before and uh, we welcome him back to the grill team. G'day, Michael. How you doing? Oh, guys, this is not a good morning. No, yeah. sorry, you speak to you a lot every, lately, brother. Every time we talk to you, Michael, it's always on these horrible uh, these horrible things that are happening. It really is, and and there just doesn't seem to be an end to them at the moment, does there? Michael, it doesn't appear that of what we've learnt from ISIS and and what they've done over the last, uh, you know, the last number of years, particularly the last few months. Um, there's no indication that that they that this would be just, uh, well, how could I say this, a fake video? You imagine that this would be the real thing. I mean, th- this is just the kind of thing that these guys do. Oh, look, absolutely. They they have a, a long track record of over a decade of these kinds of things, of beheadings en masse. I mean, we saw that when this group reinvaded Iraq, essentially, from Syria in June this year. They conducted mass beheadings of captured Iraqi soldiers. I mean, this is part of their regime. This is their form of justice, as they see it, as horrific as it is, so that it's reaching out and touching us through this, the sad story of this American journalist. Unfortunately, is not unique when you're dealing with an organisation like this. Michael, um, can I just ask you why? I mean, this, this, I mean, we all know, you know what's going on there, and they, they basically, it's, you know, they want the infidels out of there, and they don't want America to be involved in any way, shape, or form. But... You question why, because at the moment, America are reluctant to go back into Iraq. Um, yet, I mean, when, when this sort of thing, if this comes true that this is 100% that they have better, uh, beheaded this American journalist, this might just force America back in. Well, it's a tough call, guys. And let's bear in mind, there's yet another journalist. They were holding two journalists. And the second fellow, Stephen Sotloff, in this beheading video, if, if it does turn out to be true, and I'm afraid my, my gut instinct is that sadly this will be true, they're now holding him, his life out, saying that he will be next if, if President Barack Obama does not cease the airstrike. So let's not forget this second poor yeah. man whose knife, life now ha- ha- hangs in the balance. Look, for, for anyone... To stop these guys, you've got to understand the enormity of what it would take. They now control an area in the Middle East the size of the country of Jordan. Wow. No one can get in, no one can get out. They're heavily armed with captured American and Soviet-built weaponry and armoured vehicles and tanks and artillery. Airstrikes will never be enough to dislodge these guys. If you're going to go in, you've got to send... 
tens and tens of thousands of Western troops, and no one really wants to get stuck uh, back yeah. in uh, Iraq, I'm afraid. Well, Michael, I mean, you just got to question what we're going to do, though. I mean, because, I mean, th- at the moment, you, they've got a land mass the size of Jordan, but they, I mean, their plan is to go a lot bigger than that and just grow exponentially. What about yourself, Michael? When you were held hostage by these guys, do, did you at any point in time think that they were going to do this kind of thing to you? Well, fellas, it's, that's exactly what they were doing to me. I actually wasn't held for very long. I was dragged from my car in the centre of Baghdad in an area that they just captured. And almost immediately, they prepared me for my own beheading. Wow. I was under the banner. I had a masked man standing next to me with the knife. They were going to film my beheading with my own camera that they'd taken off me. Okay. So... I mean, it, 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 I can't tell you how much this morning's events oh, have bad. killed me. What, what, what's your message to journos who are there now, mate, if you could say something to them? Is it, is it time we get all of them out there and, and ramp up the bombings? Mate, look, we all want to unleash the bombings on these guys, but we can bomb them from doomsday, and it's not going to end this. We've got to think of some pretty special solution. And in terms of journalists, I mean, it's always a high-risk environment to operate in, to bring back the stories that we're not hearing, to be able to tell us back home what's going on and how it's going to affect us. We need those people there. Mm. But in so many ways, you're out there dangling on your own and you have to watch your back and you have to figure out how to get yourself in and out alive. I mean, and it's hard to know that the situation can change bang yeah. in an instant and suddenly things have gone gone uh, bad for M- you. Michael, mate, we really appreciate yeah, your time. Before we let you go, I've got to ask you this question. I, I, I don't want to take you back there, but, mate, I'm, I'm looking at this picture this morning of this, this American journalist and, as you said, you've got this, this masked guy behind him. What goes through a man's mind oh. when he's about to be beheaded? <laughs> Look, fellas, you know, that's a, that's a big ask. But look, I, I, you know, when I go back to that moment, and in some ways, you know, I, I've never stopped living in that moment. Um, my mind, it was, there was a whole flood of things. But really, you know, I, I just think I went into a, a different place in my mind. Mm. There, I just, there's, you just, you know, obviously... You're thinking of those you love, but at the end of the day, you're looking into a dark tunnel and there's no light at the end of it, and you know there's no way out. Wow, man. That's it. Well, Michael, we, Thanks, uh, Michael. we pray for the families of this American journalist and, of course, the other ju- uh, American journalists that's over there at the moment are still being held uh, hostage. Appreciate your time, Thanks, Mick. Mick. Uh, yeah, good on you, fellas, and good on you for for talking about this and, and keeping this in people's minds. It's the right thing to do, guys. Thank you, take brother. care. Good Thanks, on you. Michael. Thanks, Michael Ware from Penance Films on the Triple M Grill Team. The Grill Team, Gus, MG, and Maddie Johns. Triple M Breakfast.